it's uh, possible to pray or to meditate in different postures. And every posture has its advantages and disadvantages. And as long as you use a posture which is in alignment with your goal, it uh, will benefit you. So, in meditation we try to access things. And the easier we have access to things, the more successful our meditation will be. And we can access different things, and for that we need different postures. So if we are accessing something which is in a way on our level, so I'm meditating on an object or another person, then often the uh, so-called Egyptian posture, which is basically a seated posture, is usually best. If we're seated, both the front and the back of our uh, chakras are available. They can move energies about. So we can send energies to the object and we can receive energies from the object or person. So this is a very nice posture to have. It is nice, of course, if the spine is more or less straight. So that all the different chakras can also communicate with each other. So all the different vibrations we are catching are in a way yeah, blending together as a composite image of different energetic vibrations. So by having a very straight spine, open chakras, both front and back, we can get an optimal yeah, acquaintance with the object of meditation. If we wish to, in a way, have a traveling meditation, so I want to do some astral travel or a shamanic journey, it is usually best to lie on your back. This way, the um, energy which goes into our body will come straight from the earth. So we're not exposed while we're kind of like in away with our attention to our environment, to people in our environment, to spirits in our environment. So the back of our chakras is basically yeah, uh, blocked off um, or nourished and supported by the earth. So we don't have to take care of our body because the body is being directly taken care of by the earth. And this allows our attention and our energy body to move more freely into the astral. If we are doing a healing meditation, it is usually best to lie on the belly, because we want to attract astral energies to our bodies and allow them to enter through the back of our chakras, so that the healing powers can enter into our system and perform their restorative work. If we are doing meditations with, uh, with movements, it's very important to uh, start slowly and to move with the same speed as your energy moves. So if I start, I don't know, a meditation and I start just flapping my arm around like this, it's not going to have any effect. It is just going to be disharmonious and disconcerting to my body. So ultimately, why am I moving my arm? I'm moving my arm to move my attention, to move my center of focus. And by moving my attention and in a way moving my energy body back and forth, it becomes flexible. So by moving with attention, ultimately I'm creating a more flexible energy body, my energies will start to shift, will start to realign, but I cannot move more quickly than my energy body. And especially if you're starting with meditation, those movements will be small and slow. And the longer and the deeper you go into these practices, the faster and quicker your energy body will be able to adapt it will in a way become more flexible just like the physical body which needs to uh, 
stretch a bit and get in shape before you can uh, run the 100 meter hurdles for instance um, in the same way your energy body needs to stretch needs to warm up a bit before it can do these things and in general opening up areas so stretching a certain side of the body left right front back um, will also create space for energies to manifest themselves and everything is just pressed together nothing can happen things need space to move around and by moving in these different postures open postures stretched postures where your energy can circulate can move both around your body and in your body will help with any processes of transformation this is one of the great advantages of dynamic meditation if you're going to use things around you like sound or objects um, you can stimulate different parts of your energy body by having certain colors around or certain vibrations around which correspond to specific chakras or specific elements or specific planets and by giving this extra attention and stimulation to that part of your being it will be more easy to meditate on it it will show itself more clearly and because it is so energized it will also connect to its source to the planet or element or uh, part of the collective consciousness much more easily and this is also a healing or harmonizing effect so all these things can be very valuable tools in empowering your meditations enjoy